States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please bow your heads. God, we ask you to guide us in our decisions tonight and until the next meeting as they affect in one way or another most of the citizens of Hammond. Also, we ask that you remember a week from today, Memorial Day, all those that have given the uh, supreme sacrifice so that we can enjoy uh, our country as it is. Amen. Lady Chairman, roll call votes, please. Markovich? Here. Vitelli? Here. Kalwinski? Here. Torres? Here. Higgs? Emerson? Here. Rako? Here. Opinker? Finez? Here. Seven present, two absent. Uh, reading of the minutes. Mr. President? Councilman Sicali? Make a motion to accept the minutes from May 9th. Second. Second. A motion by Councilman Spicali, second by Councilman Emerson, to accept the minutes of May 9, 2016. Any discussion? Any discussion? Any discussion? Roll call vote, please. And what's this for? Reading of the minutes. Motion to approve. Second. Uh, so moved. There, oh, I mean, there. Well, you, want, you want roll call vote or you just want all uh, in favor? All those in favor. Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion passes. Okay. Thank you for that direction. <laughs> um, moving on to approval of claims. Madam Chair, Lady. Councilman Markovich. Move for approval of claims for May 4, 2016 through May 18, 2016 for council meeting May 23rd, 2016. Beginning with claims dated 5 10 16 and ending with claims dated 5 18 16, claim number 2888 through claim number 3226 inclusive for a total of $2,559,526. I so move. Second. Second. Alrighty, motion by Councilman Markovich, second by Councilman uh, Kalwinski for claims beginning with uh, claim number 2888, ending with claim number 3226. Any discussion on approval of the claims? Any discussion? Any discussion? Roll call vote, please. Markovich? Yes. Kelly? Yes. Kelwinski? Yes. Torres? Yes. Higgs? Emerson? Yes. Rako? Yes. O. Pinker? Venez? Yes. Claims passed, seven in favor, zero opposed, two absent. Um, public hearings, there are none. Communications. Any communications? Any communications? Communications is not closed. Committee reports, um, there are none. Boy, this is a quick meeting, isn't it? Um, oh yes, thank you very much. Alrighty, here I sit up here and I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, um, yes, if there are no objections, I'd like to read the uh, upcoming Community and Crime Watch meeting. Uh, Jefferson Crime Watch will meet Wednesday, May 25th at Jefferson School at 6.30 p.m. Pulaski Park Neighborhood Association will meet Tuesday, May 24th at the American Legion on Goslin at 6.30 p.m. And the Whiting Roberts Jail Crime Watch will meet Thursday, June 9th at Covington College, excuse <coughs> at 6.30 p.m. Um, also, I'd like to announce the upcoming uh, 2016 Security Light Program uh, sponsored by Mayor McDermott, Hammond Community Watch, Hammond Community Development, and the Hammond Urban, Urban Enterprise Association. Uh, if you own and reside in your home in Hammond home, 
uh, provide proof of home ownership and provide a valid driver's license or state ID, you can apply to uh, qualify for a free dusk to dawn security light. Applications will be received in person between June 6th and 10th uh, only, uh, that one week window, at Hammond City Hall on the first floor, room 115. Quantities are limited, so please hurry. And that is how change happens. One person, one gesture, one moment at a time. All righty, no further committee reports. Committee reports is now closed. <coughs> Ordinance third and final reading. Uh, there are none. Introduce, uh, introduction of ordinances. 1616, an ordinance to amend and replace Flood Hazard Area Ordinance 9334 by establishing provisions for flood hazards in accordance with the State of Indiana Model Ordinance for Flood Hazard Areas. Mr. President. Councilman Spitali. Move for first and second reading, refer to Council as a whole. Motion by Councilman Spitali for first and second reading of second. Ord I'm sorry. Pardon me? Second. Oh, okay, second. Thank you, Councilman Rakos. Uh, so first and second reading of ordinance number 1616 and refer to council as a whole. Any discussion? Any discussion? Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? First and second granted for ordinance number 1617. <coughs> Resolutions. 16R17, a resolution adopting the City of Hammond Title VI Plan and Non-Discrimination Agreement for the City of Hammond. Madam President. Councilman Emerson. Um, I move to accept Resolution 16R-17. Second. Motion by Councilman Emerson, second by Councilman Rako um, for uh, resolution number 16R-17. Any discussion? Madam President. Councilman Emerson. Uh, Title VI uh, is, is a uh, derivative of the Civil Rights Act in 1964, I believe. And basically, uh, Hammond receives federal funds, and uh, that's what it is in our interest to pass it. But I think it's also in our interest because it speaks to the character of many of the uh, members that are on the council, and I'm sure that that, that our new members also. We've we've dealt with these fairness issues before, and we feel uh, I know as a body we don't want to discriminate against any anyone, and it's very detailed about language and everything else, but uh, that's basically, in my view, the crux of it. Any other discussion? Madam President. Councilman Rico. I'd like to be added as a sponsor of this. Alrighty. Um, Carmen, if you would add Councilman Rico to that, please. Mr. President, I'd like to be added also. Alrighty. Uh, Councilman Spitali as well. Ms. Madam Chair, lady, make a motion we put all councilmen on there. A uh, motion by Councilman Markovich, second by Councilman, who was that? Yalwinski, uh, that all of the council uh, be added on resolution number 16R17. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All righty. Um, so there's been a uh, motion by Councilman Emerson, second by Councilman um, Kalwinski for final passage of resolution number 16 R 17. Carmen? Markovich? Yes. Spitelli? Yes. Kalwinski? Yes. Torres? Yes. Higgs? Emerson? Yes. Rakos? Yes. Opinker? Venez? Yes. Resolution passes, seven in favor, zero opposed, two absent. <coughs> Noon unfinished business. Councilwoman President. 
<laughs> Councilman Spitelli. Uh, last month, we, uh, as a council, approved a grant for $40,000 to the Hammond Police Department to participate in DUIs. And also, during that time, there was two days granted to the county police, city police, and the state police to patrol 8094 for two days, which was Friday night and Saturday. I had the opportunity to ride in with Lieutenant Vicari Friday evening, and uh, quite a thing to be on the expressway with them picking up speeders. Um, he did a great job. Uh, it's well worth the grant money that's given to the city. They do follow up on it to let you know where your tax money goes. Uh, we got, he had picked up quite a few speeders uh, in the radius from Gary to the Illinois line. So I just want to tell him thanks so much for giving me the opportunity. He mentioned that if there's any other council members who would like to ride along with him sometime, he'd be more than glad to uh, take them on. That sounds like fun. Any other new It was very successful. Any other new and unfinished business? New and unfinished business is now closed. Uh, public expression. Carmen, do we have any speakers? I, all righty. Our first speaker is Mike M. I'll call you Mike M. Uh, all righty. Uh, you will have three minutes, sir. Thank you, madam. My name is Mike Vizikevich. And I'm here to talk to you, talk to the council about the shooting at the Hooker Bar Lounge at or around 7245 Indianapolis Boulevard on May 22nd at 3 uh, 3 o'clock a.m. As a citizen who lives within a drop of a bullet from the shooting, I have several concerns that I want to bring to the council. Some of these concerns are, I believe, under the control of the council, and the other concerns just affect everyone here as citizens of Hammond. I'm concerned about bullets fly flying into the residential area, uh, some of which I don't know, but probably are still not found. There was eight shots fired that night. I'm concerned about the potential effect on the neighboring businesses. One is a new restaurant that just opened up. It seems like a very good restaurant. Uh, and uh, the area uh, has several good restaurants and, and doesn't need the, the bad publicity a shooting like this brings. Concerned about the property values in the area. I'm sure people won't want to live in beautiful Woodmore area if there's uh, all of a sudden shooting going on. I'm also concerned about the potential effect on Purdue University and the students that attend and, and want to attend that university. Something that's in your control is, are, is that bar operating on proper ordinances? and variations, and I believe it's within a thousand feet from the church. While I have not measured it, uh, I thought uh, you couldn't have a bar selling alcohol within a thousand feet from an established church. I'm here not only to petition you to do something, but I'm also here to offer you my help in this matter. Like you said earlier, one citizen. I'm here as that one citizen. Thank you. Madam Chair, lady. I'm, I'll also answer questions if you have any. No, well. Councilman Emerson. You, um, we had that discussion in the caucus, and it, it's all uh, being taken care of. It's being investigated as far as our liquor license and so forth and all that, past code violations and whatever. Uh, the license was transferred from another bar that had trouble on Holman and Chicago Avenue, and that's being looked at, and it's, it's being handled by the law department and the police department. We're not allowed to say too much because of the investigation going on that if whoever they're looking at, they don't want to spook them and where they take off. So, but 
appreciate your concern. I talked to you on the phone and so forth and that, but it, it's being looked at. So from a citizen's standpoint, we appreciate your time and coming here, but, you know, let the police handle it, you know, let them take care of that. Thank you, Councilman Markovich. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker, George Stroya. George Sawyer, Robertsdale. Not to pile on, but when you look at all the cities that have gone bad, whether it's in Illinois or Indiana, especially along the lakeshore, the first thing that goes is these, uh, safety, crime. You let that go, you don't address it properly, kiss the city goodbye. People vote with their feet. Thank you. Um, public expression is now closed. So move. Second. Motion by Councilman Markovic, second by Councilman Spicali. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? 